All right, so in this video, I will show you how to actually connect an ESP8266 Wi-Fi chip to your IRS account. So the first step is actually make sure you have an account. If you don't have one yet, you can just go on the main page at rs.io and just click on create a free account. This will allow you to create a free account that will make you uh, be able to connect your device to the IRS cloud. Next, when you actually have an account, just go to dashboard.irs.io. This will lead you to the page where you can manage your devices, create dashboards, um, manage your events. But here we just want the API key that will allow you to link your boards to the IRS cloud. So for that, we'll just go to API keys and you will see your API key just appear in there. You can just go over it copy it and just save it for later because we'll need it in a moment. Next, we'll see how to actually configure our board. So for that, just go to arduino.cc and you need to download basically the Arduino IDE. So for that, just go to software and here you will have the page where you can download the latest version of the Arduino IDE. Once you did that, you can just open it on your computer. So here I have my version of the Arduino IDE and there are many things you need to install before you can actually configure your ESP chip. First, you need to make sure that the board definitions for the ESP chip are actually installed. So what I recommend doing for that is just searching on Google for the ESP8266 Arduino IDE. This will lead you, the second one, to the GitHub repository of the ESP chip for Arduino. And here you will have all the latest instructions on how to do that. Next, we need to install some libraries in order to uh, be able to use your chip with uh, ARREST. So for that, just go to Sketch, Include Library, Manage Libraries, you will find all the Arduino libraries and you basically need two to be able to use um, your ESP8266 board with ARREST. So first you need, of course, ARREST. So just type in ARREST in there and you will find it just here and install this library. Next, you will use um, the pub sub client to actually be able to, to send data, to communicate between your board uh, and the AOS cloud. So here you will need this one that is called exactly like what I searched, so pub sub client, and just install the latest version of this one as well. Great, so now we are actually ready to configure our board and connect it to the AOS cloud. So for that, make sure to actually load the official example uh, from ARREST. So I will do that again, go into examples, ARREST, and I will load ESP8266 uh, cloud. So that's the example I have here. And you can see that the sketch you can modify. Uh, make sure to change basically two things, three things if you really want to. First is the ARREST API key. So make sure to grab that from your dashboard as I showed you before. Next is you need to put your Wi-Fi SSID and password because you need to tell your board where you actually want to connect. And last thing is you can actually set a unique ID for your board. So I recommend doing that, but if you don't do it, it's fine because the ARES cloud will automatically assign some ID to your board, so you don't really have to do it, but you can do it by uncommenting this line here. And that's basically all you need to do. So I already have a sketch ready for that uh, right here with my uh, own data in the sketch. So make sure you actually change that and save it in another file. And now you're actually ready to configure your board. So what I will do now that you can truly see here is that I have a board right on my desk and I will actually connect it and then configure the board to connect to the ARS cloud. So right now my boards are actually all offline 
And the moment I will print it, and we'll see that the status will actually change on the RS dashboard. So I can see my device here because I already connected one device before this tutorial. But if you are just starting out, you don't have an account yet. Uh, this will of course be empty because no devices have been created so far to the RS cloud. Let's go to the Arduino um, again, and here go to Tools, Board, and make sure to actually select the board that you are using. Here I'm using Adafruit uh, ESP board, but it's compatible actually with a lot of different uh, ESP boards, so make sure to select the one that you're actually using at the moment. Let's also make sure that you are on the right sale port. So I will just connect my board now, so you can actually see what's happening. So now in the port here, I should have my um, board actually showing up. It's this one here, USB serial. Of course, it might be different for the board that you're actually using. So now I'm all ready to actually upload the data uh, to the board. So I'll just hit on this button here. And this will compile my sketch and actually upload it to my board. Okay, so it's now plugged in. Awesome, so the process is now finished and I can go back now to the dashboard and I should see that the device is actually online. So let's refresh that. Yep, you can see that now my board is online and actually connected to the ARS cloud. So this was basically the tutorial about connecting your ESP8266 board to the RS Cloud, and now you are ready to use it. So what I recommend now is really to go to arrest.io slash documentation to really see everything that you can do uh, with your device. So for example, we did here the getting started part in this video, but you can now, for example, use your board to, of course, control uh, devices, but also store events, for example, from your board. So you have guides about this as well. So make sure to explore, have fun, and build amazing projects using Arrest.